Residents near the Ohio-Pennsylvania state line are under evacuation orders while others are being told to shelter in place. This happened after a massive train derailment and officials say they had to have this controlled burn of toxic chemicals and that it has gone as planned to prevent any type of catastrophic explosion. Now the question is, will air and water quality actually be safe? ABC's News, Alex Brashe joining me now uh, from Ohio with the latest, along with Ohio resident and evacuee, evacuee Janet Meek. Uh, Janet, let me just start with you, if you don't mind. And Alex, thank you for introducing us uh, to Janet. I know you've had a chance to talk to a lot of people since you've been covering this uh, early this morning. Janet, we heard officials warning of this imminent explosion, telling folks like you to evacuate or stay inside. Tell me how you got word of these toxic chemicals, where you were, where you are now, and how are you doing? Um, we're holding up. We're uh, about 20 miles away in Pennsylvania across the border. We were um, at home. We had just got home from a basketball game. My daughter cheers in and we heard the loud explosion. Um, I honestly said, I think a train derailed and we all kind of just looked outside, didn't see anything. And a few minutes later, I think it was my daughter that came running in and said, there is a huge, huge fire behind, like we thought was the Lake gas station. And then um, it escalated like minutes. It was just train car. We, we realized it was a train car and it was just exploding car after car after car. Um, of course, everybody was going down to look neighbors were coming out um you know you could smell smell fumes at that at that time we didn't know you know it was toxic it, what the fumes were um then uh it continued to burn um we stayed indoors they did come and ask us if we were going to leave it wasn't an immediate evacuation then they were just saying you should so we have pets and uh just stayed indoors and till the sunday night was that sunday night they they interrupted the grammys and um it, it the look of panic on their eyes when they said get out now um we grabbed the two dogs and not much more um and we left didn't know where to go at first but there's a hotel that has probably a hundred other of us here. And uh, there's also a um, assistant living. They have the residents from there here too. And, you know, we're, we're waiting to, to know when we can get back. Wow. So Alex, kind of, you know, bring us up to date. Um, how did we finally hear about this? And then maybe you can explain to viewers the reason why they had to have this controlled burn of chemicals because there were dangerous chemicals also within these uh, parts of the train. And so they were trying to prevent any type of additional explosions. I know law enforcement was going door to door telling people what was going on. Um, a lot has happened in the past, what, 24 to 48 hours. That's right, Kira. A lot has happened. Now, I mean, listen, I got a chance to talk with Governor Mike DeWine yesterday, and he mentioned that ahead of this, what they call a controlled release of uh, these chemicals, uh, this vinyl chloride, he said that, listen, there wasn't a good option here, but this was certainly the lesser of the two evils. And the reason that he said that, and a lot of uh, the folks from, from, from Norfolk uh, Southern said that, is because by setting these charges, they were in control of the way these fumes uh, would, would, would go up and, and, and dissipate into the atmosphere. Uh, had they kind of let things just continue on, uh, these tankers were likely going to explode, but there was no way for them to control uh, where, where these, uh, these toxic fumes were going to go, and it could impact a larger swath of people. So, Janet, any idea when you're going to be able to get back to work or leave the house, um, you know, the family just getting life back to normal? Um, they are doing news conferences, but it's very far and few between. Um, there was supposed to be one at one today, I believe. National Guard is still everywhere. Um, I've heard from friends that they were trying to get back just to check on their houses. We're only about um, a few blocks away from where that explosion and the 
the release of of everything was was going on. So they're saying no damages to the homes. Uh, we left the, the cats there. Um, oh. But they're they're not saying when when we can get back. I've I've heard a few friends saying that if you're outside that one mile radius, you're able to get around. But there's we're still in that red zone that we can't right. even get in. So, <laughs> Alex, any idea when when you know you'll know if the air is okay to breathe when folks can just continue on with their daily life? Well, Kira, it's it's kind of a wait and see game. And actually, there's, there's a press conference going in, going on right now at uh, uh, one of the local high schools here where they're giving updates. But the last thing that we heard uh, before this hit was that uh, they're going to continue to monitor both the air and water right now. And they've had reports of, of smells of chemicals. Uh, they say they've been vigilant in checking those out so far. Um, yes, people have smelled things, but it's not anything that's harmful uh, for folks to, 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 to breathe uh, in the surrounding towns. But again, as I spoke with the the emergency management agency yesterday this is going to be a long-term thing they're going to have to continue to monitor in the coming days and likely weeks just to make sure that things are safe uh, before folks are actually able to return home all right well janet we'll keep in touch with you alex keep us updated alex just moved to ohio by the way where the news seems to follow him everywhere there you go you're now <laughs> broken into your new home state all right janet we'll talk alex thank you so much Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.